Welcome, welcome, welcome to another EBX discussion. And I know everybody doing great because you are alive and you breathing and you uplifted to the sound of my voice. And I'll call down that protection on you, on all my brothers and sisters, even the ones that aren't doing so well, even the ones that don't get it. I call down protection for ourselves and from ourselves, for our families, for our, our loved ones and people we connected to in our inner circle. And I want to tell you, my soldiers and soldierettes, the beautiful thing about one knowing thyself is when you have conquered the media bug. And once you have conquered the media bug, you have graduated, you have ascended. And let's talk about this media. And it takes, it's not easy, doesn't happen overnight. And as long as when you, right before you get on social media, right before you click on, must have a purpose, not just for entertainment. Don't waste the time that we have on social media. Because as we all know, the ones that are on that high vibration and know how the system, the system can get down. That's why you must not, you must hold all moments precious as much as we possibly can. Because if your eyes are open and you're awake, you can see what's to come. And I'm going to see if I can remember a quote that Malcolm X said. I wrote it down. I'm going to see if I can remember it. He said, if you know what what was that might said it's might I might not say it in the right order but it goes something like this if you know what was and what is and what's to come you will always be prepared it won't have that much of an effect on you because you already expected it and that's that's the beautiful thing about having that light so overcome conquer the media bug once you have conquered that media bug, you have ascended. Once you stop caring about likes and describers and views, once you get past all that, I call all that smoke screens. Smoke screens. Because as we all know, and I'm sure other brothers and sisters use this analogy, social media is the new crack. And you, you have to be, your ego have to be in check. Your spirit have to be in check. Your soul have to be in check at all times. And when you come on to social media, it's like stepping out your house. When you first walk out that door and you put that first foot on that ground, always have a purpose. And what we do in the present that I've said before, that's a positive high vibration will always benefit not only yourself, ourselves in the future we can't see the future but we can shape the future we can we can change the present we can always change ourselves we can't change all of those around us but we can always change ourselves and once we stay confident and our ego has dissipated and you just want to be happy and you want to see others happy you have conquered that media bug and it's, it's, it's the new drug along with all the other things that they give us to get us addicted to. And I remember when Facebook first started and how I remember how I started out. It started out as just taking pictures, just sort of entertaining. But I've always said something positive. That part has always been in me. But I wasn't as focused as I am now. So once you get focused and more rooted, and you get tired of all the dumb BS, dumb stupid shit. Once you just certain stuff you won't even click on to anymore, you will start. You will find yourself, especially when one knows thyself, you will find yourself connecting and listening to real brothers and sisters. You want to listen to something valuable. You when you when you come to that enlightenment, you have no time for stupid petty shit on media on on social media. Because 
social media doesn't always is isn't always going to be here and it's something and i'm always listening to brothers and sisters online and a lot of times i don't comment you know i i, I observe and i i i really try to be sincere and listen you know not always trying to think of what i can say you know sometimes we need to just shut up and just sit back and listen sometimes you know wait till it's our our time wait for the right time and when it's our time to jump in and say a comment and when we do say a comment if it's a question or a disagreement please ladies and gentlemen be an adult about it but we got to stop this bickering and going back and forth we got that bad in the black community it's ridiculous it's i don't know why some of us not all of us now some of us get so weird with an individual that has a high vibration i don't know what that is and i see it all the time and you have to be very careful they say be careful what you pray for i don't really like that word pray because it sounds too much like a predatory word but so i'll say you know they the saying goes be careful what you ask for you know and what you're striving for making sure it's the right thing you know you're gonna you're going to trip along the way. You're going to make some mistakes, bumps that just make you stronger and be a force to reckon with. But stay on that path. Stay on that journey. Damn a distraction. You know, damn fear, stress. I don't even, like I said, I don't even use that word unless it's an example. I hate that word stress. I hate jealousy. I hate stupid, petty ass people, you know, and this is all the things that social media is doing to a lot of people. It's bringing out the demons in people, literally. And the sad part is they're not even aware of it. You know, they think they cool. They think they normal. And the social media will have you like that. And that's what I call, that's what I call conquering the media bug. We, because once you record it, once you say it, once you put it out there, you can't take it back. You can, you can delete it as fast as you can, but once it's out there, it's out there. And even when you delete it, it's still stored somewhere. Because if, if I've not learned anything else, because I like to watch FBI files and forensic files. I like watching stuff like that because everything I watch on TV, whether it's the media, whether it's social media, whether it's TV, I analyze everything. If, if it's a movie, it's not good to watch TV. But if you do, and this is something else that I learned from another great, 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 great brother, because I listen, you know, and I receive what brothers and sisters say. And I've got brothers and sisters I've listened to years ago. Their teachings is still in my spirit. And this is one of those teachings with if you do watch TV, I don't recommend it all the time. But if you do look at TV with that third eye. Don't don't look in it and not at it. Look in it. Analyze it. You know, see the little things that they hide in these movies. You know, look at the real reason and you'll be surprised. You'll be amazed. I do it all the time. Make a game of it. You know, right before you put the movie on, say, okay, what sign am I going to see in this movie? What can I analyze about this movie? What is it in this movie that they're telling us about this system? Because they all... because. You got to remember, a per, uh, a being, I'm going to say being, we know who we talking about. And I say the weakest that be because they have no power. Now, you got to remember how arrogant a, a being and power is. Very arrogant. So they like to show off, you know, people who are into money and materialistic wealth and power but not in a righteous way not that kind of power not a righteous power and just looking to control the mass with power and money and manipulation though they're going to be very arrogant so of course they're going to see things they're going to hide things in the movie it's like a game to some individuals when they when they're putting something what they say in plain sight yeah a, a power a, a evil powerful narcissistic person that's their fuel they get off on that kind of shit, you know, but the righteous brothers and sisters have a rose. They're not rising. They have a rose and more and more are rising every day. And that's why we cannot 
be overcome by this media bug. We have got to graduate. We, and a lot of us have. We have beat that media. And I am proud to say one has conquered the media bug. And I am, I have graduated and I have ascended. And anybody connected to me, they will ascend also. And one thing, I will be real on this walk. I will be transparent. I will talk about any area of my life deemed to be talked about, depending on the individual I'm talking about it with. Because some things we can't talk about to individuals and some things we can't put on social media. You know, you got to pick your battles. You can't put every thought that you have on social media. You have to have some solitude. You know, you can't tell everybody everything. But at the same time, be transparent and be real about some of the things that you don't want to talk about. And I'm not talking about things that are bad or evil. I ain't talking about nothing like that. Because if we are, now I'm not talking about me. I'm just giving an example. If an individual feel like they got a little hate in them, that's something that you don't keep bottled up. You get, you go in deep. You study the area in you. If you do feel any any hate or envy and see why you're feeling that and fix it. Don't let it lay dormant because like I say, my brothers and sisters and many of and many of us have seen it's been what at least three brothers what within the last month or so that claim to be for the black culture and claim to be a leader. And social media got to them. And along with everything else that goes, because one social if you can't handle if you can't handle your ego on social media, you know, it's that pretty much shows that you're not going to handle other things that you're connected to because the social media bug is the real test. I'm telling you, it's the real test. And I've survived. One has survived a lot of areas in my life. I made it through the crack area, the, the crack era, excuse me, the crack era. The gun era, you know, when when the guns, because first it was the first it was the gangs, then it was the guns, then it was the crack. No, you know, I'd even back up for it, because even before the guns, I'll say I'll go back all the way back to the Sugar Hill gang, Sugar Hill gang, and the rap, because I can almost see, you know, as far as when I was born, it might have been way before I was born. But I can see kind of from my era because I'm from the 70s. The first attack to me was hip hop. That was the first attack. Then the second attack was the guns. Then the third attack was the crack. And then the fourth attack, which this has always been an attack, was, you know, I'm not saying every, but it was a lot of our people murdered. You know, intentionally and pit. You know, it's that was that was the the next thing. So you can you can you can see if you go back into your reflection and really, you know, use that gift of reflection and go back. You can see the patterns all the way up to now. And I'm saying that to say, so we're in another era now, which is this thing that's going around, and we all know what I'm talking about when I say that thing. This thing that's going around. So this is another era. So we will always have a media challenge. It will always be. Even with it was even that before uh social media. It just wasn't as bad because we didn't have Facebook and we had we had no quick access to anything. Every it was only TV and maybe some you know some internet but we didn't have facebook and instagram and all that stuff so now we have social media it's more it makes you it makes your brain more active you know you is they always suggesting something on your phone and if things pop up you know so so that's what i'm saying it's a lot of it's a lot of ways that this thing can bring the demon out of you if you have any demons in you if you have any demons in you this social media will pull it out of you i guarantee it i've seen it because i had like i said i had to check myself I, I almost got bit by that bug but i've conquered it and 
I really can't explain how you know when you've conquered it. You'll have to experience it for yourself. When you when you can join in with brothers and you know, you can look at the views and subscribers and be like, wow, that guy, ooh, that's cool, man. It's, it's, this brother or sister, they must be, you know, must be the real deal, you know. Nice and not saying all, because we got some fake ones too that got a bunch of subscribers. But once you can get past that, that's when you know you, you have conquered that media bug. When you like, you support and you, you know, you just, you share the love with everybody. And you also, you know, you know you give love on your own platform and that's how it's supposed to be you know you go you, you visit each other's house and you know whether you comment or not and you know don't even think bad things because we we have energy we carry energy especially these days our, our energy is heightened our senses are heightened our melanated people's senses are heightened all of our senses are it's just that most of us are using our power for the wrong thing but our sentence, sense, senses, senses are heightened, heightened. It's just too bad that this media is, is, you know, causing a lot of brothers and sisters to give in to them demons. And so be careful, my soldiers and soldierettes, on, the, on this social media. And that go for my leaders, my teachers, my brothers and sisters on the platforms and the brothers and sisters in the chat room. Just, you know, in the chat rooms and give comments that, you know, the real loyal, because we got some, some loyal brothers and sisters that really support and really give their all and really care about the individuals on these platforms. So we, we need brothers and sisters like that. We need all that energy, all that power. So the, the individuals in the chat rooms and the comments, they mean just as much. Because you got a lot of good people, a lot of strong people that be in those chat rooms too. So everybody plays a part. So, but my brothers and sisters, stay strong. Stay a soldier. Be a force to be reckoned with. And don't get bit by this effing media bug. Over, override it. Conquer it like we doing everything else. And I salute to the real brothers and sisters out there that has conquered this media bug and has graduated and ascended. And on this banner, it represents the media. The crystal, the, the glitter ball, the crystal ball, not the crystal ball, but the, the ball with the glitter, that represents the glitz and glamour of the media and how it looks shiny and it, it'll make you feel good to get attention, but it can have the opposite effect if you have the wrong intentions and you're not coming on with the purpose. Because, you know, like I said before, I don't want to sound like a broken record. What we put out is what we get back. And this social media is part of the universe. It wouldn't be here if it wasn't supposed to be. Everything happens. There, there's no such thing as a, as a coincidence. There's levels. There's different, different phases, different challenges. And this social media is one of those challenges. So that's what the the ball of glitter represents, the glitz and glamour of the media. And see how big it is? That's how that's that's why you gotta overcome it. And it can it can get bigger, it can snowball and, and get out of control if you don't have control. One must have control as much as we possibly can. Not saying but be aware that we're not perfect. And once you can keep that in your spirit, you'll stay balanced. And the speakers on the side of the glitter ball represents the noise, the noise of the media. And, and that also coincides with some of this garbage hip hop we get. And I love hip hop, you know, but, you know, I'm not going to speak too much. I just say I love hip hop and it saddens me that some people take it for granted. But that's what the speakers are for. And then on the top, we got the graduation hat with the detassel means that you have graduated and notice it it's on the top of the crystal ball so that means you're on top of it it, it it's not too big for a high vibration on brother or sister and on the side you got the diploma you have graduated and your diploma is being able to be with brothers and sisters and not against brothers and sisters 
Never let what's before you stop you from being that good, wholesome, good hearted brother and sister that you are. Stay the soldier you are and stay the soldier that you are. Everything righteous that we do in the present will always benefit us in the future. And that's why we cannot, and I repeat, we cannot be bitten by this media bug. Please conquer it. It's, it's a lot of right, righteous brothers and sisters out here, but far and few. Because we know how some of our people are in our black community. But we know why they the way they are. But you can't help those that don't want to help themselves. So stay conquering. Stay being a soldier. And as long as I'm breathing, I will lift and be as righteous as I possibly can be. No, none of us are perfect, but we can always have perfect intentions. So this is a celebration. You have graduated. You have ascended. You didn't get bit by the media bug. And keep on teaching. Look at it as discussion. Use social media for what it is, but have a purpose while it's here. Don't take it for granted, because we all know they can do what they want when they want. So everything they throwing at us, we're going to reflect it and we're going to throw it right back at them. All our power, all our love, all our heart, all our knowledge, all our education, all our spirit, everything we got to help this next generation and beyond. Be the greatest superheroes and take this planet back. And that's my positive thought. And I salute to my soldiers to my soldierettes, to my family. I give love to my children, their mothers, people I grew up with, anybody I'm connected to, whether you up or down. May you have peace in your part of the world, wherever you are, right now. Like I always say, till next time, have a great, great, strong one.